it's Vijaya back at you with another video and in this one we're gonna be making chocolate banana cheesecake brownies now if you love brownies and you like banana bread and cheesecake this dessert is for you because I'm taking all those three desserts and merging them into one and trust me I've tested this recipe and it's absolutely spectacular but before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and of course if you're looking for the full recipe just click that info box down below and everything you need is there let's make some brownies we're gonna start on our banana brownie base now this is super duper simple you do need one banana and the key to the banana is to make sure that it's nice and dark and spotted so I mean this guy is not too bad but if you can get a banana that's super duper black even better because that means the banana flavor is gonna be more pronounced and it's gonna be a lot more sweeter okay so we're gonna peel the banana into my bowl and to that I'm gonna add a little bit of white sugar as well as some brown sugar which is gonna give it this beautiful caramelly note as well as a pinch of salt and we're gonna mash this until it's smooth Next up, I'm gonna crack in an egg. And if you don't eat egg, then you can leave that out and add an additional banana. I'm gonna throw in a splash of vanilla, as well as some melted butter. Ooh, all of it, all of it. And we're gonna whisk this up until it's nice and incorporated. And the last step is to add our dry ingredients. So I have a little bit of white flour here, as well as my cocoa. And we're gonna mix this all together until no white streaks or brown streaks can be seen. I have an eight by eight inch baking tin that I've lined with a little bit of parchment paper and greased with some butter. And we're gonna pour three quarters of the brownie mixture to form the base. Our brownie base is ready to go and as you may have noticed I only poured three quarters of the batter into the tin and the remaining one quarter is here now to that I'm gonna add a spoonful of water because we're gonna create magic a little later on and we're gonna dilute this batter because this is gonna go on top of our cheesecake layer to create this beautiful marbled effect and thinning it out just a little bit will help with the swirl there we go, I'm gonna set this to the side and now we're gonna work on our cheesecake layer. The cheesecake topping could not be simpler. We're starting off with this guy, a big old block of Philly cream cheese. It's about eight ounces. Get that into the bowl, Woo, just like that. And you wanna work with room temperature cream cheese because it's so much easier to mix. I'm gonna add in a little bit of sugar as well as a splash of vanilla. Oop, there we go. And we're gonna cream this until it's nice and smooth. And now I'm gonna crack in an egg. Oop, there we go. Oh, look at that golden yolk. And this is what's gonna help the cheesecake topping set. And we're gonna whisk this again until the egg is nice and incorporated. Now's the exciting bit. We're gonna bring everything together. So we already have our brownie base. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful cheesecake layer and we're gonna pour it all over the top and I'm gonna show you how to do the perfect chocolate swirl. take my reserved brownie batter that we diluted with a little bit of water and I'm going to put little spoonfuls all over the top and now you're going to use a chopstick like I have here or a toothpick and you're going to start to swirl the cheesecake into the brownie to create a beautiful design now let your imagination run wild. There's no rules for this. And the more you do this, the more you get this crazy swirly action that makes it look like this belongs in like a French pastry shop or something. Perfect. 
My chocolate banana cheesecake brownie is ready to hit the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna pop it in for about 35 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. So my brownies came out of the oven about 45 minutes ago and I completely let them cool down to room temperature. And this is really important if you wanna get a good slice on your brownie. I've cut mine into nine pieces and look at this baby. The cross section is unbelievable. You have that beautiful marble top and then when you look at the edges, you have that contrast between the white and the dark. So, so beautiful. And there's one thing left to do, you guys, and I've been waiting for this all day long and that is to taste, so here goes. You guys, you have to make these brownies. They're absolutely unreal. The creamy cheesecake layer paired with the fudgy dark brownie with the bananas is such a winning combination. And guess what? They're so, so easy to make. So the next time you wanna treat yourself or do something special for someone, make these brownies because trust me, you are going to impress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' Thumbs up, you know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or something you wanna get off your mind, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.